pleasure, our happiness, change, our transformation. What's the difference between the two sides in each of those concepts? Pleasure is something that's very temporary. I used to ask people, what are you doing this weekend to make you happy? And inevitably, people would talk about one very specific event. Happiness isn't an event. Happiness isn't even a series of events. Happiness is a lifestyle. It's just the way the world is, and regardless of what's going in your world, you still feel happy because you know, even when it's really dark and dreary, you know the sunshine is still shining up above those clouds. Well, then what's the difference between change and transformation? Again, change is the temporary thing that's going on. You can change your hairstyle. You can change the way you eat. You can change your friends. You can change where you live. You can change your work. But basically, what you're doing is trying on new habits. And none of those habits are going to lead to a whole different way of being in the world because, for one thing, the people in your world, they're not going to want you to change because then they have to change. Or at the very least, they have to change a relationship to you. So they're going to do everything they can to get you to change back. And here's the thing. The pressure and the stress of that kind of situation will lead you to talk yourself into changing back. So change, it's okay, it's helpful, but it's never going to transform your life. Transformation is a lifestyle. It's a permanent new way of being in the world. It's taking responsibility for everything, every big thing and every little thing that happens in your world because when you take responsibility, you're understanding that events just are. People don't do things to you, they do things. You interpret your world. You interpret the people and their behaviors in your world. You interpret how your circumstances are limiting you or not. You interpret how events impact you. It's your interpretation. Nothing's good or bad inherently. It has only the meaning you give it. So, to really make a difference in your life, to get to the place you deserve because you didn't come here to get through life every day. Bob Proctor used to say, most people tiptoe through life hoping to make it through to the end. And you know, that's pretty accurate because that's how most people are living their lives. But you're here to thrive, don't just survive. Now, to get to that place of transformation, to make yourself unstoppable on that path, I developed something very many years ago called a personal meaning quotient. And when your personal meaning quotient or your PMQ is at 100, it's impossible to do anything but achieve true transformation, have your whole world shift. And finally, finally you get to live your dreams, your life, on your terms, your way. I'm Allie Bierman, and you can find me at yourrelationshipintelligence.com. Now, if you go down below, you can click the link there, and it will take you to the information on how to find your personal meaning quotient. I appreciate your clicking like and share and come back next week and let us know your progress toward your transformation.
because it's not going to happen all by itself. Only you can change your world. And that means knowing you who you are, not who you think you are, not who you want other people to think you are, and certainly not your ego mind or your self-image. I will see you here next time.